Okay, so um, just a few things before I get started. Uh, here's my disk container padlock. I'll be sending that to Foxy first, and then he can send that on. Also, I've made a challenge lock here. Uh, I'm going to try send this to Bosnian Bill. Maybe if I'm lucky, I can get a. I'll be able to win one of the puck locks. But uh, the key actually works on this challenge lock, so. Yeah, keep an eye out for that. Hopefully, it'll actually whip Bosnian Bill. In, or at least make him give up, or whatever, I don't know. Uh, anyway, so here's the lock today. It's a, a brand new old stock padlock. Um, it just says anti rust stainless steel shackle, suitable. For low security uh, marine applications, which is good that they say that it's double locking. That is true. It's a 30 millimeter solid brass case um, or body case. Um, everything here that they've mentioned is correct. Two key supplies. It's true. Um, yeah, so prior to fitting, familiarize yourself with it. Simple action. Uh, stainless steel shackle for optimum protection against corrosion and adverse weather conditions. So it's meant to primarily be against the weather, not really bolt cutters or hacksaws or whatever. Suitable for low security up marine applications. When used with pad bars, chains and so on ensure that these are adequate for the purpose intended for high high risk situations use a heavy duty chub closed shackle padlock if in doubt consult your local crime prevention officer or insurance company maintenance um, occasionally lubricate with a small amount of proprietary lubricant for example wd-40 not oil and um, yeah, then that's just the chub range and you can have a look at this. You just see it's got its uh, measurements and all over there. And yeah, on that note, I want to just say that uh, it is always good when you see a manufacturer of a lock that they're actually stating things that are true instead of stating things that are just lies and they're actually telling the consumer of this of this lock um, to use it appropriately not on they're not trying to sell it off as being something it's not anyway so here's the lock itself you can see it's got chub in blue stainless shackle as i said it's a four pin padlock here's its key lots of highs up in there and then it has a keyway like this, similar to, I think, American or Master Lock or something like that. Um, also, I cut this top part off here so I can put this padlock back in the case for display. Um, so yeah, let's... I'll, um, I don't really want to put it in the vise. So I'd like to pick it in my hand instead. And yeah, while I'm doing that, I would like to talk a little bit about Chubb itself. Obviously, I really like Chubb padlocks and locks and things. Like that's my favorite lock brand. So I was a little bit upset to, in a way to hear that Chubb uh, they sold, they're no longer actually producing their locks under their name. What we have now is we have Union and Yale. They, they just took over the um, manufacturing of the Chubb style locks. 
and uh, yeah they're not actually going to change anything as far as I know about the lock mechanisms and stuff they are literally just rebranding it under Yale and Union and if I remember correctly um, Yale will be doing all the the door and windows kind of locks and then Union will be doing the padlocks or something like that as you can see with the Chubb Cruiser that's now a Union Cruiser and there's the lock picked and uh, so on and so forth because if you try and get a brand new Chubb unless you actually get a brand new old stock you'll probably get a, a cruiser lever padlock that is branded as Union slash Chubb or whatever it doesn't actually say Chubb on it but when you're searching for it it'll say Union slash Chubb or something like that so yeah since I've picked it once with the short hook I'll try and just show that there are there are no security pins in this also I cannot shim the core because you can see there's a little lip there and that goes right around there so you can't shim the core I try to comb pick on this and they can't they can't uh, overlift all the pins stacks uh, I also tried to shim the shackle but I couldn't fit uh, two shims in there and it is double locking and last but not least of course because it is double locking um, unless maybe you pull on the shackle and then tension the locking bars and then individually move them out of the way like lock noob did um, you won't be able to bypass it with a knife tool easily so yeah, I'll try rake it. Try and get lucky. There we go. Sorry. That's that picked. And let's just show you the key working in this. Got a nice snap to that. Got a nice snap and I like the blue um, writing on that it's very nice you can see that's working yeah they were selling they were selling these padlocks on eBay so I saw a little 30 millimeter chub and you know I can't help myself I have to get a chub padlock for my collection they're the number one locks I like to collect so yeah that is that, and thanks.